even when people jump up in front of my camera and make a face. All right, let's go and take a look at this one. Um, now again, the tough thing with this one, guys, is like we can see we have a cosine of 2x, right? And so which one do we choose, right? Now again, there's multiple different ones you could choose. And again, it doesn't matter. Some of them are going to be a little bit easier than others. So for the sake of um, for the sake of this one, what I would recommend, I'd usually always start with the cosine squared minus sine squared. Typically, that's going to be um, one that's going to be helpful. Also, between the other two, usually it's going to be helpful to choose. Um, you want to keep usually the same like sines and cosines. Like, so for instance, like if I want the left side to look like the right side, it would make no sense for me to change the cosine of 2x into terms of sine, would it? Right? That doesn't make any sense. I want to keep everything in terms of sines and cosines. So um, what I'd want to do then is I wouldn't want to convert this to sine. So I'd either use the first two. Now I'll do the first one, and we'll see what that one looks like. So that's going to be plus cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. And what do you know? Done. Right? Now, let's try maybe the second identity. So the second identity would have been sine squared of x plus, um, let's change this into a, actually, no. Yes. Yeah, that's right. What? Who? Actually, the sine squared actually is the one. Yeah, that's the one I want, actually. I made it, I spoke wrong. That's actually, I'd want this actually, a 1 minus a 2. Yeah, this one actually works. Why does this one? Yes, question. So, what's your identity that you changed? The first one, the cosine of 2x. It's right there. Cosine 2x is cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x. Cosine squared of x minus 1. No, it's 2 cosine squared of x minus 1, which is another option. Now, I'm doing this again. Oh, you're talking about what am I doing for the second round or the first one? No, I, I, I messed up. OK. So now, what if I change, instead of, to, for, instead of doing this, what if I change it to this? Well, now I can subtract the sine squared and the cosine squared to give me 1 minus sine squared of x. What does 1 minus sine squared of x equal? Cosine squared of x. OK. And then if you were to do the third one, that is the one where you would, the math would be a little bit more difficult, actually, for that one.